Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to British comedian destroys the metric system in America. There is no in America there, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about America. His name is Simon Fraser. But yeah, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on the next and subscribe for more content. Let's see how he destroys it. Hi everyone, my name's Simon. I'm from England, but I live in America. Love America, man. Love so much about America. Fahrenheit? Oh my god. Fahrenheit? What is that? Dude, Fahrenheit's the best! Because 70 degrees Fahrenheit means it is 70% hot. Okay. 100 degrees Fahrenheit? 100% hot. Oh yeah, I think anywhere else in the world except for America, we all use Celsius, but then in America we use Fahrenheit. I was confused for a second. And if it's any hotter than that, too hot <laughs> miles per hour 70 miles per hour you're going 70 percent fast 100 miles per hour 100 percent fast and if you're going any faster than that you're having a good time all these europeans are like why don't you just use the metric system so much easier if you just use fractions learn to divide why can't you just divide last time i checked this is not the divided state of america <laughs> This is the United States of America! Yes. And we do things to a hundred around here. Our biggest bill is a hundred. The yards in a football field are a hundred. We drive to a hundred. We heat up to a hundred. Our president <laughs> is a hundred. This! <laughs> I've lived in this country too long, man. I got the haircut of a St. Louis lesbian, <laughs> so... I know I've lived in this country way too long, man, because last week I heard another British guy talking, and my first thought when I heard his voice was, why are you talking? <laughs> like an idiot. He was like, oh yeah, mate, me and the geezers, we're well knackered from the weekend. We saw some fit birds, shanks and points, and some proper naughty event uh, in it. I was like, those aren't real words. <laughs> Speak English, motherfucker. This is I America. <laughs> He started speaking to me. He was like, what do you think of England's football at the World Cup? I said, it's called soccer. Come on you now. Come on now. Come on. That's the only thing that I, I, I can do that. It is called football for a reason. It's a ball that you play with your feet. So football. I don't know where they get soccer from. Four losing piece of shit. <laughs> He was like, oi, mate, you're being a bit of a cunt. I said, we don't use that word over here. <laughs> you twat. <laughs> Love America, man. Best Mexican food in the Not world. Not even Mexico. <laughs> Told that joke at a college campus recently, and I am now <laughs> president of Liberty University. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to love America, though, now, because you say anything that's pro-America, and the alt-right fucking loves you. <laughs> like, I posted that Fahrenheit joke online, I just got all these comments from, like, Hitler lover 69. <laughs> being like, finally, a comedian for me. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not for you. <laughs> They're like, I love this guy. I'm like, this guy's a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nobody's perfect. <laughs> My name is Simon Fraser. Uh, it's technically a stage name. Fraser is my mum's name. I just chose to go by it because it sounded more British being in America. I didn't realize when I chose it, though, that the 10th largest university in Canada is called Simon Fraser University. <laughs> Do you realize how stupid that is? <laughs> I named myself after a university. <laughs> this isn't sinking in for something. Imagine you met another comedian, and he was like, hey, man, I got a stage name. And you're like, that's cool. What's your stage name? And he was like, Johns Hopkins. <laughs> you know, that's a stupid stage there. <laughs> it's so hard because when you Google Simon Fraser, the university oh, always oh. shows up above my name. I'm a comedian trying to grow an online following. I tell people to follow me after a show. They enroll in a four-year bachelor's degree. <laughs> but I love America, man. I'm so happy to be in America. I love everything that I'm I love how you guys write the date month of the year. Oh, my God. That is the right way. <laughs> to write the date because the month is the most important part it deserves to go first because the month tells me everything i need to know like you tell me your wedding's in may i don't care if it's the first or the 31st i'm packing a light jacket 
You tell me your wedding's in January. I don't care if it's the 2nd or the 22nd. I'm not coming. <laughs> <You're> fair, <man. laughs> Love it. Feet and inches, so much better than meters and centimeters. You tell me you're 178 centimeters tall. You could be a giant or a centipede. <laughs> you tell me you're six feet tall. I'm like, great, you are 5'11". <laughs> I'm six feet on hinge, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I'm 5'9", I really don't care. <laughs> you just gotta get me in the room, that's my thing. I think I'll win you over on the day. As long as we sit down, <laughs> and we stay sitting down. I was on a date with a girl, we had one drink. She was like, do you wanna go for a walk? I was like, I don't do that on the first day. <laughs> Girls are always like, I can't believe you lie about your height on Hinge. It's like, I came here from England. Obviously, I'm going to lie about my height on Hinge. Like, I've traveled thousands of miles to get laid. You think I'm going to stop three <laughs> inches short? It's <laughs> a big reason why I like being in America. I'm more attractive here than I am anywhere else. Like, I go to someone in England. I'm like, hey, I'm from England. They're like, fuck off. I go to someone in Ohio. I'm like, hey, I'm from England. They're like, fuck off. You got to meet my daughter. <laughs> Like, just know, if you meet any British okay. guy living in America, it's because they couldn't cut it back home. <laughs> like, why else would we be here? It's so dangerous. <laughs> Every day you wake up, you risk getting shot. You do get shot, you That's got crazy. no health care. The condom breaks, you got to keep the baby. The baby gets shot, the baby's got no health care. <laughs> These are the trade-offs we make because we can't get pussy in Manchester. <laughs> I have been experimenting sexually though. Uh, I just learned about this new thing called edging. Have you guys heard about this new thing called edging? Uh, it's this new thing where you're supposed to make your partner almost finish. It's supposed to drive them crazy. And I don't want to brag, but. <laughs> I've been doing that all my life. <laughs> Girls love it. They're like, Simon, I was so close. I'm like, hell yeah, you were. <laughs> They're like, Simon, it's unfair how you always finish and I never do. I'm like, I thought Americans love first responders. <laughs> They're like, I'm leaving you. I'm like, but how can you leave if you never came in the first place? Oh. What play? Well, it's great to be here. I've been traveling. I was just in Cincinnati. I was on a date with a girl from Cincinnati. She stopped me halfway through the date. She said, why are you being what? charming? I was like, is that not what you're supposed to be on a date? And she was like, I'm just used to going on dates with guys who are always on their phone. They never listen to what I have to say. And then I suck them off suck them and off. I never see them again. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> She said, but you, you're different. I said, what did you say I wasn't listening? <laughs> love being in them. I love Americans. I do feel sometimes some Americans try to give me a hard time though because of my accent. Like I was ordering wings the Ooh. other day. The waitress, she said, do you want ranch or blue cheese? I said, I'll have the ranch. And she said, I'm sorry, what was that? And I'm like, look, lady, I know I didn't quite say ranch, but... <laughs> I sure as hell didn't say blue cheese. It is so like true. I think it's a psychological thing that as soon as Americans hear your accent, I think their brains locks. And from there on, they don't, they, it is as if they're not hearing you, they're just hearing your accent. Because I cannot tell you how many times I say things, and in my mind, what I said is so clear. But then they're all like, huh? Huh? Excuse me, what? 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 You guys need to work better on that. In what world did you hear me say ranch? <laughs> and you thought to yourself, did he just say blue cheese? And what is crazy when they say, huh? What did you say? I say it the same way that I said it the first time, and they're like, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, I didn't change anything, I didn't change my tone, I didn't change the way I said it. It's just you need to say, huh, 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 huh? Because your brain was processing.
Like I said the word. It wasn't even like you said you want fries or a salad. And I said, oh, the chips. No, I went along with your American word, which makes no sense. You can't just name a sauce where you get the ingredients from. Ranch should be called cowboy cream, by the way. That's the right word for ranch. <laughs> then I went to a bar. I tried ordering a water. The bartender said, what? I said, a water. He said, what? I said, a water. He said, what? I said, a water. He came back. He brought me blue cheese. <laughs> what? But I will say one thing I do believe the, the British do better than the Americans. I think we have better insults. Okay. Uh, and I think the reason why is because we don't have guns. Because mm. <laughs> anytime an American has gotten off a really good insult, whoever they've insulted has just shot them. Swear to God, somebody pulled a gun on me, just like he said. But lucky enough for me, my manager was there and he handled the situation. And everyone's like, what did he say? And he's like, he ain't gonna say it again, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Love traveling. <laughs> Love being in the South. I was down in the South. I love the South because the South has a different kind of rich people. Uh, the South has what I call Christian rich people. Uh, these are rich people who have no guilt about being rich. Uh, they're just like, God gave me this 4,000 acre property because I am better than you. <laughs> You wanted a mansion, your daddy should have prayed a little bit harder. <laughs> God has a plan for everyone. And for me, it's a tax exempt life insurance trust fund. <laughs> it's cool because everywhere else, people are so guilty about it. They even say they're rich, right? You know, they always use another word, privilege. They're like, I grew up privileged. My family is privileged. It's like, no, say you're rich. Because your privilege is correct, but you're hiding the truth. That's like someone being like, I'm on antibiotics. It's like, you have <laughs> chlamydia. <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking. I'm on antibiotics. But anyway, <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. I've been Simon Frank. Okay, no, that was good. That was good. For sure, that was good. Like, it doesn't matter where you come from. Some things, everybody experiences it. Example, with the accent. When whatever you say, they ask you, what, 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 what? I think that's a common thing for all migrants. But yeah, as I said, I love, live, I love living in America. 